Hello, my name is Amy Ecker and welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to see how this magnetic eyeliner does next to the Moxie Lash Eyeliner. So Moxie Lash I had done in a different video. You, I'll put the link below. And today is my first day trying this one. I do have some false magnetic lashes that I purchased off Amazon to test it with and you're going to see kind of my thoughts etc below not below you're going to see my thoughts etc on the magnetic eyeliner in just a second so i hope you enjoy this video okay so i didn't find the exact set that are brand new but i have used these multiple times as far as magnetic lashes so i do know these work magnetically these aren't exactly neither of these are exactly the same as moxie lash magnetic lashes because these are the ones that go on top and underneath i've just decided that if you buy these online and you just use the top they do thicken up your own lashes and you don't have to worry about using those bottom pieces up underneath or you can actually take these pieces that normally hook underneath to make the two magnetics stick together on your eyelashes and still stick them on top and they do a great job so just want to let you guys know that little piece but what i'll probably do is use a little pieces today a little different and you'll see that in a moment so what i do whether it's moxie lash or not is i go ahead and put an eyeliner on top because i don't like how moxie lash feels on my eyelids after a full day of wearing them to work definitely after two days of wearing it by itself on the lid my eyelids are extremely dry extremely irritated that's the one piece that i don't like so what i do is i go ahead and put on my regular eyeliner anyways and then i will go in with the magnetic eyeliner and put that right above on top of the eyeliner that i have chosen for the day I will say this applicator, hands down, way better than Moxie Lash. Moxie Lash's applicator is just one solid piece of plastic. It doesn't bend, but it pokes. This applicator already, I'm loving much, much better. So way to go as far as this applicator, because this is just like your standard liquid lash liner. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Moxie Lash, take note. So we're gonna let that dry down a little bit. The other thing that I'm already liking about this versus Moxie Lash is that while I moved my eyelashes back into place, I really don't have the liner. Moxie Lash is a lot more clumpy. So to me, on an aging eye, you can't get a good eyeliner anyways, like a straight line. Not sure about the ladies that don't have wrinkles, but this one just isn't your friend in that way. It's also clumpy, so it gets stuck in your eyelashes. This did not already like that. Okay, so I'm gonna open my new little lashes. Again, I get these on Amazon. These ones only have two magnets, and as you can see, it's trying to grab a hold. So I'm gonna start kind of working these more towards my eye shape. My eye shape really is, oh. These don't have as many magnets as the Moxie Lash, but they look longer. For me, I need a longer eyelash anyways. And those popped on. So basically, when you use the ones that are used to having, you, you utilizing the upper and the lower, they are gonna be thinner than if you get the ones that are specifically made for the eyeliner. In the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and grab the Moxie Lash Magnetic Eyeliner in the pot. So I've got a clean angle brush. I'm just going to take a bit of the Moxie Lash here, build up my brush, and as you, it's just clumpy even on the brush. I don't know if you can see that. But it, it's just really clumpy. Kind of build, try to build a thick line. But yeah, look at that. Drives me insane. Drives me insane. 
grab all that off my brush. Next, I'm going to go ahead and pick up the Moxie Lash Liquid Eyeliner. We're going to put that right next to the other. And then we'll pick up our Magnetic Eyeliner Lash Liner from Lash Liner. And go ahead and do a sweep there. So we're going to go ahead and take these little bits here. And you can see, like, this isn't... This isn't catching. No, it fell. All right, so let's see how we do on this one. All right, so it stayed on the moxie lash there. I just can't get it to stick to that. There we go. All right, then we'll use the third and final on the one that I have on right now which goes on. So none of them came off, but again, the Moxie Lash in the cream pot took a little bit to get it to stick. The second and third basically went right on. So I'm hoping that helps you understand as far as what we've got going on. And pulling that one off was really easy. This one I felt a little bit more of a tug and that one came off kind of mid easy. So yeah. Basically, these, the liner for $40 worked almost as good as the Moxie Lash. Not as good as the liquid Moxie Lash, but it is, it, it still works. So I like the fact that it is a lot less expensive. Yeah, so I want to see how this helps you with your buying power. So again, I got both of these on Instagram. I'm going to say as far as the stickiness goes, Moxie Lash helps the magnet stick faster and kind of tougher. This one goes on better, has a better brush, goes on a lot straighter, less clumpy, but still is holding those eyelashes in place. So it's kind of like, I don't know, I like the stickiness of this one, but I like how this one goes on much, much better. Anyways, I hope that helps you with your buying power, and hopefully you're not as big of a sucker with Instagram as I am. Instagram just gets me all the time. All right, y'all. I hope you have a great day.